Welcome to the Kansas Department of Agriculture Milk Hauler and Sampler Video Training Series. This is Video 6, Direct Loading Milk Tankers with Inline Sampling Systems. In this video we will cover inline sampling, procedures for Anderson Instruments, procedures for QMI samplers. Many dairy farms use direct loading milk tankers with inline sampling systems in place of traditional bulk tanks. Farms that use direct load milk tankers with inline samplers chill the milk through a plate cooler, then automatically collect a milk sample with an approved inline sampler as the milk is being pumped directly onto the tanker. Inline samplers provide a way to obtain a more representative sample of each load. The producer using an inline sampler will develop a specific protocol for their dairy, which has been approved by KDA following FDA guidelines. This protocol is created in cooperation with the sampling equipment manufacturer, the milk buyer, the milk producer, and the FDA. This protocol must specifically list you as a licensed bulk milk hauler and sampler who has been trained to maintain, operate, clean, and sanitize the sample collection device, as well as to collect, identify, handle, and store the milk sample. Kansas uses the universal sampling system, one sample that can be used for all laboratory analysis. At any time without notification, the regulatory agency may collect and analyze the samples. Currently, there are three inline sampler manufacturers whose products are approved for use. Consult with your local dairy inspector if you have questions. In addition to the specific protocols for your dairy operation, you should become familiar with the FDA MI-066 requirements for the specific sampler your farm has installed. These requirements apply to all inline samplers. The approved inline sampler manufacturers are Anderson Instruments, Isolock, and QMI. In this video, we will discuss Anderson Instruments and QMI samplers. We will begin with the Anderson Instruments inline samplers. The Anderson device is to be installed in a refrigerator that must maintain an internal temperature of 32 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The sample collection container, if not single use, must be hand washed and sanitized each time you use it. Use a calibrated thermometer to track the refrigerator temperature. The thermometer must be digital or liquid filled in glass type and be checked annually by a certified laboratory. Two refrigerators are necessary, one for sample collection and one for sample storage. Record the temperatures for each refrigerator twice a day, both morning and night. Only use these refrigerators to collect and store milk samples. No food, beverages, antibiotics, chemicals, drugs, or any other items not related to the samples or sampling procedures may be stored in this refrigerator. You must wash your hands before handling any of the equipment. At the beginning of filling a new tanker, make sure the sample bottle or sample collection container is cleaned, sanitized, dry, and properly positioned to collect the sample. You must also protect the bottle cap so the bottle can be resealed after filling without contaminating the sample. After filling each tanker, remove and cap the sample container, which should be no more than three quarters full, from the sample collection refrigerator. Check and record the temperature in the refrigerator. It must be between 32 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Agitate the sample container sufficiently to obtain a representative sample by shaking the sample container 25 times in seven seconds with a one foot arc of movement, or by rapidly inverting the sample container completely 25 times. It may be appropriate to wait for three minutes to allow undesirable foam to disperse. Transfer a portion of the sample contents into smaller, properly identified sterile sample vials. Follow proper procedures and do not contaminate the samples. Only fill each three quarters full. You must also take a temperature control or TC sample. Always take an additional sample for temperature control. This sample is used to check the temperature of the milk samples at any time. The milk sample and TC sample containers and the weight ticket must be identified with the following information. 
the producer's patron number or state permit number, and the date of pickup, the time of pickup, the milk temperature, and your initials. Store the samples in the sample storage refrigerator until the tanker leaves the dairy farm. The sampler must be cleaned and sanitized after each filling cycle. When you're using the Anderson Instruments system and it's time for CIP cleaning of the sampler itself, make sure that the vacuum line and the two air lines are properly attached to the sampler. Without correctly attached lines, the system won't create a vacuum and the diaphragm won't pulse properly with applied pressure. Place safety seal through eyelets. To determine the exact amount of milk within the tanker, it must be weighed before filling and after it's loaded. A milk meter may be used instead of weighing to determine the quantity of milk. Either method is acceptable and should be recorded on the manifest before leaving the dairy farm. Now let's discuss how to properly use a QMI inline sampler. The QMI device is to be installed in an appropriate location in the milk line to ensure accurate sampling and proper cleaning. The white protective septum cover should be in place at all times. Two refrigerators are necessary, one for sample collection and one for sample storage. Record the temperatures for each refrigerator twice a day, both morning and night. Only use these refrigerators to collect and store milk samples. No food, beverages, antibiotics, chemicals, drugs, or any other items not related to the samples or sampling procedures may be stored in this refrigerator. The container for the collection of the milk sample shall be installed in a refrigerator that must maintain an internal temperature of 32 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Use a calibrated thermometer to track the refrigerator temperature. The thermometer shall be digital or liquid filled in glass type and checked annually by a certified laboratory. Single service use containers must only be used for collecting the sample from one tanker. The container is discarded after the official sample is taken. The sampling apparatus, needle and tubing, and sample collection bag can be purchased assembled or you can assemble it on site using good sanitary practices. You must wash your hands before handling the equipment used to collect the milk sample. Single service collection bags are sterile already and do not need to be washed and sanitized. At the start of milking, remove the protective cover from the QMI septum and using alcohol or a sanitizer, properly sanitize the white cover over the septum surface. There are seven sampling ports in each QMI septum. Use a new sampling port each time you start loading a new tanker. Replace the septum when all seven sampling ports have been used. To begin the sampling of an empty tanker, place the sample collection bag or container into the refrigerator and close the door. Insert the needle into an unused port of the QMI insert. After the tanker is filled, remove the sample container, which should be no more than three quarters full from the refrigerator. Check and record the temperatures in the refrigerator. It must be between 32 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. At the end of each filling cycle, remove the needle from the QMI sampling septum. Agitate the sample container sufficiently to obtain a representative sample by shaking the sample container 25 times in seven seconds with a one foot arc of movement or by rapidly inverting the sample container completely 25 times. It may be appropriate to wait for three minutes to allow undesirable foam to disperse. Next, sanitize the tube and bag attachment point. Break the tube out of the bag, then flush a small portion of the bag contents to waste. Immediately transfer a portion of the sample contents using aseptic techniques into smaller, properly identified sterile sample vials. Only fill each three quarters full. You must also take a temperature control, or TC sample. The milk sample and TC sample containers and the weight ticket must be identified with the following information. The producer's patron number or state permit number and the date of pickup, the time of pickup, the milk temperature, and your initials. Store the samples in the sample storage refrigerator until the tanker leaves the dairy farm. 
When replacing the septum after all seven sampling ports have been used, the opening that the septum sits in must be hand cleaned. Place the safety seal through the eyelets in the tanker dome. To determine the exact amount of milk within the tanker, it must be weighed before filling and after loaded. A milk meter may be used in addition to weighing to determine quantity of milk. Either method is acceptable and should be recorded on the manifest before leaving the dairy farm. Thank you for watching video 6, Direct Loading Milk Tankers with Inline Sampling Systems. In this video, we covered inline sampling, procedures for Anderson Instruments, procedures for QMI samplers. You can watch this video again or take the test.